I'd like to introduce Shreya Iyer. Shreya is a 10-year-old who is a fourth grader that goes to school in Burlington. She has many interests like math, drawing, painting, and the piano. She is interested by animals and is fascinated by dolphins. She's on the Burlington soccer travel team. Please welcome my friend Shreya. Hi. So hello, my name is Shreya. Thank you, Sonia, for your wonderful introduction. It is always great to be going first. Before we begin, can everyone hear me? Yes. So today we will be graduating from this course on public speaking. So before we begin, can some of you tell me what brought you to this course? Yes? I wanted to stop being us shy. Cool. Yep. My parents dragged me into this. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Um, anyone else? No? Okay. So they're all very valid and good reasons, but I believe that all of us will be in a leadership position when we grow up and one main and mandatory skill which a good leader needs is being able to speak well in public or public speaking. So today I will be speaking about some great leaders, one of their great speeches, some history and context about those speeches, and a line from each of these speeches. So let's begin. Our the first great leader, leader I will be speaking about is President Abraham Lincoln. His most memorable speech was, we should all know, his, in, uh, his Gettysburg Address. In 1863, President Lincoln delivered the speech at one of the Civil War's key battlefields. The speech was a relatively short speech, just about three minutes long and 265 words. He, he told the country to pay the soldiers who had died fighting in the Battle of Gettysburg respect because they died fighting for the principles liberty and equality. And he said that these principles were worth dying for. The most memorable line from this speech was, This nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall never perish from this earth. Can we all repeat that? And this government, and this government of the people, of the people, by the people, by the people, and for the people, for the people, shall never perish from this earth. Shall never perish from this earth. Thank you and good job. <laughs> <laughs> the next great leader, uh, yeah. Will we pass? Yeah. <laughs> the next great leader I will be speaking about is President John F. Kennedy. His most memorable speech was his his inaugural address, which he delivered in 1961. President Kennedy was 43 years old, the youngest president ever elected in the office. In this speech, he had spent, the speech was a relatively short speech, but President Kennedy had spent more than two months crafting it. And most importantly, in the speech, President Kennedy stressed the importance of national service. One of the most memorable lines from the speech was, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. The next great leader I will be speaking about is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His most memorable speech was his I Have a Dream speech. So in 1963, Dr. King delivered a speech at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, which is in Washington, D.C. In this speech, he stressed the importance of national service. One of the most memorable lines from this speech was, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I guess we kids all love Martin Luther King Jr. because on his birthday, we get a day off from school. And who doesn't love that? 
the next and final great leader I will be speaking about is President Ronald Reagan. His most memorable speech was his remarks at the Brandenburg Gate. The most memorable line from the speech was, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall! In 1987, President Reagan issued his famous challenge to Mikhail Gorbachev in Berlin, telling him to free the people of Russia and East Germany. In 1989, when the Berlin Wall was actually demolished, President Reagan's speech was remembered world over as a history-changing speech. Also, it is said that also President Reagan was a man with a very good sense of humor. One of the humorous things which he said was, it's true that hard work never killed anyone, but I figured why take a chance? <laughs> <laughs> so today I spoke about some great leaders, one of their great speeches, some history and context about those speeches, and a great line from each of these speeches. Also, it is said that the mind is a wonderful thing. It starts working the minute you are born and never stops until the minute you get up to speak in public. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank Boreish Uncle, who sacrificed his Sunday afternoons to help us keep our minds working even when we are speaking in public. So thank you, Boreish Uncle. <laughs> so thank you for giving me this time and opportunity to speak. Are there any questions or comments? You made a beautiful speech. <laughs> thank you. Good job. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to be